It's Jordan and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be checking in with the goals that I set for myself, both booktube and bookish related back in January and see how I am doing, see if I'm on track, if I'm really derailed, and if there's hope to save me if I am. So my first bookish goal had to do with my Goodreads challenge. I had set my reading challenge to 52 books this year. At this point in the year, I've read a total of 44 books. So I am 85% of the way done with my Goodreads goal, which puts me seven 17 books ahead of schedule, so I'm just killing it this year. My second bookish resolution was what I called read your bookshelf. And the idea of this one was to actually read what I was buying. So ultimately by the end of the year, I would have less than 20 unread books on my shelf. So when I had made that video, I had a total of 52 unread books. Now at this point, my TBR list is only 35 books long. So I have managed to cut out 17 books. And that is through a combination of not buying an excessive amount of books, reading what I already own, and removing books that I truly don't feel like I'm ever going to get to. So I've actually removed 11 books from my TBR that I showed you at the beginning of the year in that video. So there is hope that I might one day be able to read all of the books on my shelf. My third bookish resolution was what I called commitment issues, and this had to do with my unfinished series. So the time that I made that video, I had a total of 12 uncompleted series, meaning that I have the entire series in my possession, but I had not read the entire series. This one I'm like not doing so well on, but then I'm not doing like terrible on it. I've read two of the 12 in their entirety, so I've completed two series this year, which does not sound impressive considering that's already July. This one I really need to work on. So I have five series that I've decided I don't want to finish. I might at some point in the future read them, but at this point in time, if I don't read these books, I'm not going to like hold myself accountable for it. It's not a big deal. So then that leaves me with five un completed series still need to get to I still really want to finish I just haven't yet and it's all by one book it's so frustrating you want to see a whole in-depth video of like what series I've completed versus what I haven't read versus which series I'm done so I'm not going to continue with I can make a whole series video for you so my fourth goal was what I called I love you and this was my goal relating to rereading favorite series I really wanted to make it a point this year to reread at least one of my favorite series so ones that I had named in that video were The Mortal Instruments, The Infernal Devices, and Harry Potter. And I've actually been working very slowly through The Mortal Instruments this year. I had hoped to be done with that series by June, but I haven't picked it up in a while. I've read the first three books. I just need to read the last three books and I will have completed this goal. I still have half the year left, so I feel confident that I can do that. Goal number five was something I called stay hip, meaning to read new releases when they were still new releases. And I've been doing semi okay with this more so than I thought that I was. I have read a total of eight new releases within like a month of them being released. So I am reading the books that I am buying right away which is keeping my TBR pile a little bit shorter as well. I'm doing better with this. And this was a big issue I had last year was not reading books when I buy them. Number six was a resolution that I called save your bank account, meaning open a library card. I have not done so well on this one because I still haven't gone to the library to open up a library card. I kind of forget about it half the time. Plus I've been doing so well with controlling my book buying. I actually only bought 22 books this year. I am super proud of that because I was going crazy last year. Like I think one book haul was like 22 books. Of those 22 books, I've read 13 of them. So I feel like even though I haven't opened a library card, I'm still saving my bank account because I'm not buying an excessive amount of books. Hallelujah. I still would like to open up a library card. Number seven was something called iPad. And this one was just to focus on my eBooks. I've read two books that were eBooks, but I've then since bought them as physical books. So I read them as physical books. So does it really count? I didn't read them on my iPad as eBooks. So I apparently needed them in, in both formats. I don't feel like I'm actually succeeding at this goal. They're not ones that I'm like dying to get to. So I don't feel like inclined to read them as much as my physical books, but I still would like to read them. So I'm still going to try to read a couple more of those this year. And then my last goal was to read more. I feel like I've been doing a better job 
of designating time to actually read. I'm still working on this one, but I feel like I've been better at managing my free time to allow myself more time to read. I've been making it a bigger priority. Because of that, things like TV have gotten sidelined, and I am currently 90 episodes deep in unwatched TV. 90. Like nine zero, not one nine, not 19, 90, like almost a hundred. I was at one point at like 130. I just need to learn how to balance the two. I'm clearly really bad at it. And I also had three booktube resolutions this year. The first one was timeliness. I am still working on this one. This is a work in progress. It will be a work in progress for the rest of my life until someone magically bestows the gift of organization and timeliness onto my person. Something that I'm just not very good at. ADHD is a real problem. Number two, to post more spoiler-free reviews. And I've done a really good job with this one. I've actually posted eight spoiler-free reviews when last year I'd posted zero. And I've posted only three book rants this year. I posted like 20 something last year. So I'm definitely slacking on those. It's one or the other. It's like the TV and the books thing. I just can't do both. So I have to learn to balance. And then my last booktube goal was discussions. Again, I have some ideas that I want to do for discussions. I just haven't done them. If you want to see any discussion video topics, let me know what they are. So that is it for my mid-year check-in for my goals and resolutions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you very soon. Bye! I am six books positive then because I am, I've cut 17 off that list, 11 of them I don't want to read, and then six of them I've read. So it sounds good to me. I had, like I said, 11 uncompleted series. Completed two of the 11. This equals 12. I don't know how I count incorrectly. So I must have had 12 because I have 12 tallies here. That's attractive. <laughs> Just looking. I'm gonna put that in the video. No, please don't. What are you doing? Stop it. Can you go so I can finish <laughs> this video, you weirdo? You're up here in solitary confinement doing a book report. I, I am not doing a book report. <laughs> Kinda looks like you are to me. Pleasure reader raider? Not like an analyzation re read reading raider? Were those even words that I just used?